Stephanie, thank you. We are following breaking news. 24 hours of violence in Indianapolis. Four people are dead, seven others wounded in eight shootings and a stabbing. The map we're showing on the screen right here, if you have a minute to take a look, it shows all of the scenes from midnight Sunday through this morning. The new deaths mean Indianapolis has shattered its grim mark of most homicides in a single year with a lot of the year left to go. News 8's Katie Wisely is live at police headquarters. Starting with the newest violence, Katie, police are still talking to witnesses. Good morning. They are still talking to witnesses as we speak. Now, just after midnight, police were called to the same home where another shooting had happened just hours earlier. Now, we want to show you a look at the scene just after midnight. Take a look at your screen. Officers found a man and woman shot at a home along 34th Street and Emerson Avenue. Someone shot another person at the same address around 8 o'clock last night. Police say all three are stable at the hospital, and both shootings are being investigated as two separate incidents. Hours earlier, two people were at an apartment complex near Thompson Road and Kentucky Avenue just before 630. Officers found one person in serious condition and one in critical condition. Police said one of the victims died. Now, before that, just around noon, a man was found fatally stabbed outside a subway restaurant near 38th in Illinois. And at the same time, officers rushed to the 8700 block of Masters Road. That's where witnesses said a man got out of a moving car and was found lying on the road. And less than a mile away from there, police found a woman shot in the driver's seat of a car that crashed into a building. She died at the scene. Police say the amount of homicides this weekend is disappointing. Violence knows no boundaries. There's no magical line to separate violent people from nonviolent people. This is very discouraging to all of us, and we, uh, we hope that we can catch the people who did this. Police have not provided identities of the people shot. Anyone with information about any of the shootings are asked to call police or Crime Stoppers immediately. Immediately now, police say that this is the 160th intentional homicide, which is one more than the record set. Now we also know that this is an all-time high for the city of Indianapolis, with 187 total homicides right before 2020 in Indianapolis. Katie Wisely, Wish TV, Wish TV.